Hello everyone. Welcome to Achievers IAS classes. Today we are here to discuss the current events on 16th December 2017. Let's begin with the national events of the day which is regarding the cabinet nod given to the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Bill which makes instant triple talaq or the practice of talaq e bidat a criminal offence punishable with a jail term of up to 3 years. and according to the bill instant triple talaq in any form be it oral written or electronic has been banned and made a cognizable offence across the country except for the state of jammu and kashmir this comes in the backdrop of the recent supreme court judgment which declared the practice of instant triple talaq illegal and unconstitutional because according to muslim laws the process of talaq has to be carried out over 90 days and not in a single sitting however in spite of the supreme court judgment there have been cases of instant divorce reported hence a statutory law in this regard is needed to uphold the rights of muslim women and the union cabinet decision to clear the law criminalizing instant triple talaq has been welcomed by various women groups however The All India Muslim Personal Law Board has reasserted that state cannot interfere in personal law matters. We look into the various provisions of the bill once it is introduced in the parliament. With that, let's move on to the next issue in news today, which is regarding the recent Supreme Court direction that government buildings providing public services should be made fully accessible. to differently abled persons by june 2019 thereby upholding the right to dignity of the disabled in this regard we shall recollect government has launched the accessible india campaign which seeks to make at least 50% of all the government buildings in all the state capitals fully accessible for the disabled by july 2018 with that let's move on to the next issue in news today which is regarding the cabinet clearance given to the national medical commission bill which replaces the medical council of india the salient features of the draft bill includes replacing the medical council of india with a new body which is the national medical commission which will look into various functions hitherto performed by the medical council of india the bill also contains provision for the creation of medical advisory council to set the national agenda for medical education it also creates a statutory basis for the national level common entrance examination for medical education both at the undergraduate and post graduate levels we'll look into the bill in further detail once it is tabled in the parliament till then let's move on to the next issue in news which is regarding digital payments the issue is in news because the central government is planning to reimburse the merchant discount rate charged on digital transactions up to 2000 rupees which are made using platforms like debit cards upi bheem application or aadhar enabled payment systems this is done to give a boost to digital payments in the country which account for about 15 to 20% in terms of value This is in line with the government's wider objective of digital India and a small step towards cashless economy which is the long term solution to various problems associated with paper currency with that let's move on to the next issue in news today which is regarding the Ken Betwa river interlinking project river interlinking is important because it not only prevents wastage of water but creates additional irrigational and drinking water resources added to this it will also result in harnessing these water resources for power generation flood control navigation and fisheries however there are various environmental financial and feasibility constraints because of the submergence of large areas of land negatively affecting the surrounding ecosystem in this particular ken betwa interlinking project there are fears of submergence of part of the panna tiger reserve 
which is one of the crucial habitats for the tiger as well as the vultures and gharial besides these problems water being a state subject it is not easy to build political consensus between states for faster implementation of the projects the issue is important from both the prelims as well as the mains perspective given the huge stakes involved in such projects with that let's move on to the next issue in news today which is regarding the recent hike in custom duty on various electronic items by the central government the move comes in the backdrop of various indian telecom manufacturers requesting the government to hike custom duty on electronic equipment import to promote domestic industry due to this move by the center several electronic items including televisions mobile phones microwaves etc are deemed to become more expensive thereby forcing the manufacturers to explore domestic options to reduce cost and maintain their profit margins this is seen as a boost to the government's flagship make in india program and also aimed at increasing revenue as well as greater value addition in india with that let's move on to the next issue in news today which is regarding the recent statement given out by rbi governor arjit patel that the economic growth is picking up by highlighting that the gross domestic product in the previous quarter has expanded compared to the same period during last year this was required amid growing fears of the economy slowing down in the backdrop of various measures like demonetization and the recent implementation of the goods and services tax the rbi governor has also said that even though gst has created temporary disruptions it is beneficial in the medium to long term he further highlighted that the current account deficit is within sustainable levels and the domestic financial markets are stable given the global geopolitical uncertainty and volatility in the financial markets these have to be seen in the backdrop of the neutral stance taken by rbi during the previous two monetary policy reviews where the interest rates were unchanged due to fears of rising inflation and slowing growth momentum with that let's move on to the next issue in news today which is regarding the stalemate at the ministerial conference of the wto we have seen in our previous news analysis videos the difference in stance taken between the developed and developing economies with the developing countries demanding for the implementation of the doha development agenda and the various food security provisions under it while the developed economies wanting to bring new issues like labor climate change gender parity into the discussions at the wto added to this the apathy of the united states which was shown in the delay of appointment of judges to the dispute resolution body of the wto has altogether resulted in no positive outcomes coming out of the wto ministerial conference thereby further raising doubts over the credibility of the organization i have dealt with the issue in further detail in my previous videos and i request those who have missed it to go back and watch the same with that let's move on to the next issue in news today which is regarding us accusation of iran violating an international agreement to limit its arms dealing the united states has said that iran has violated the un security council resolution 2231 which barred iran from supplying selling or transferring certain weapons to any country unless approved by the united nations security council according to the latest accusations iran is accused of providing weapons to the houthi rebels in yemen which we know is in the middle of a severe crisis due to the civil war raging in the country i have discussed the issue in detail regarding what were the reasons which led to the civil war in yemen and the role of different 
regional actors like Iran and Saudi Arabia in the conflict in my previous videos and I request those who have missed it to go back and watch the same. The final news article of the day is regarding the ongoing negotiations between the European Union and United Kingdom over the Brexit deal. What is important to us from the examination point of view is the various reasons which resulted in Britain exiting the European Union and its implication on India which I have already discussed in my previous video and please go back and watch the same. With that, I am wrapping up today's news analysis. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.